Thank you, Sir Polias, for allowing me to interview you today. I know you didn't come here to be interviewed, but I think it's a, an opportunity for people to find out uh, your feelings about uh, what you've seen today and uh, might give encouragement to other churches around the district who are looking for uh, refurbishing the church or building new churches. Uh, I have one simple question for you, sir. Um, what do you think of this church building and how do you feel about it? Well, thank you very much. This is a wonderful building. It's big enough for a very big um, congregation. It was very well designed. It's just so beautiful. And I just want to say thank you to the people here in uh, Unolu for the work that they have uh, put into this and the amount of money that they put into building this very big building. Um, when they started in 2006 and until the official opening on the 8th of January 2012. When I heard about it, I decided that I had to come. This is because I want to share some of the views that I had with uh, with the congregations and more particularly in relation to the changes that are taking place around the world uh, and in particular the places where Paul, uh, St. Paul became a mission, more particularly in the seven churches in Asia Minor and many of us do not realize that the great work that St. Paul put into changing the people to in the, those areas in what is now known as Turkey. She, he did so well that he was able to convince many people to follow the teaching of Jesus Christ. And that was one of the reasons why the majority of people in that part of the world were able to follow. Our founding fathers decided that in our Mama law, in the national constitution, they must put this piece there that Papua New Guinea must be a Christian country. It basically means three things. And one, that everything that we think about, everything that we say, and everything that we do, must only be those under the Christian principles. Only those. Meaning that everything must be good. And no negativity should be included. Like uh, gossip, fighting, or stealing or whatever, that we must do the right things only. Unfortunately, and I say that again, unfortunately, in Papua New Guinea, a Christian country, there is a growing number of people who are corrupt. They steal. And as a result of that, uh, the name Christianity has been destroyed, has been destroyed, and many of our people are now doing things that are not right, stealing, stealing, uh, uh, law and other problems uh, are there, and it is a very sad thing, and I'd like to uh, call on our church leaders to pr uh, play their part and go out into the rural areas and change the thinking to, to become Baba proper Christian. Yayan, uh, and I this is my challenge to the people here Mengepi in Oulu and, and all the other places around in Papua New Guinea to go Mengepi ahead Mengepi 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 James, and bring uh, Christianity Mengepi to Mengepi the people uh, all, over, all over the province and all Mengepi over Mengepi the province. Mengepi 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 Thank you for your time, Sir Polis, and uh, you have a good day today. Thank you very much. I enjoy it.